Hello everyone and welcome to Making Mayhem Day 7. So I just booked a last minute flight home to surprise my mom for Mother's Day. I'm so excited. She has no idea and we are trying our best to make it an actual surprise. So I leave tomorrow and I need to pack. So I thought we could do a little pack and prep for a trip with me together. Specifically what I pack in my travel beauty bags. I'm probably gonna show you everything, but just to tie in with the Make It Mayhem theme, I'm gonna show you how I like to pack my beauty bags. I love to start out making a list of everything I need because I also wanna bring my mom her Mother's Day present and then my brother and sister's birthdays were a couple of weeks ago, so I'm gonna bring their presents home as well. And it's gonna be a very quick trip, but I have a pack for everything, so <laughs> let's get started. I did a quick little Sephora pickup earlier today just to get a couple of things that I needed and then some things for my mom and my sister so that we could do a little mini haul. I know we literally just did a Sephora haul, but I needed more things. <laughs> Unfortunately, this was not in the sale. I got the Day Agave Dry Heat and Hold Styling Mist. It says that heat protects up to 450 degrees. I just needed a new heat protectant and I've been really liking this shampoo conditioner I got from Day, so I decided to just to try this out. I really haven't heard that much about it, but I'm excited to try it out and I know all the day products smell really good, so I'm excited to use this. For my mom, I got her the Give Can't Stop Staring Mascara in the Summer Fridays Lip Balm. She had been talking about how she really needed a new mascara and she really tries to use clean products, so I know the Give Mascara is clean. I don't know if this is technically clean or not, but with lip balm, I feel like it's fine. I just think she'll be really cool and trendy with her Summer Fridays lip balm. So I got her these. Then I have a couple more things to pick up for her. I'm going to run by Barnes & Noble and get a book because she loves to read. There was a book on the Barnes & Noble app that I saw that I think she would really like. And I can't remember the name of it, but it had a really beautiful cover and it was talking about how fans of Ann Patchett would like this book. And my mom loves Ann Patchett's book, so I think I'm gonna grab that for her. And then for my sister, I got the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush in the shade Cheer. My sister was gonna buy this during the Sephora sale when she was here visiting me, and she ended up taking it out of her basket because she just had too much stuff. So hopefully she still wants this. I I think she does. Hopefully she hasn't bought it herself. And then kind of same thing with this. She mentioned how she's been really wanting to try out the Summer Fridays lip oil. And I don't know if she's gonna like this color, but Sephora is so easy to return to. I feel like it will be fine. I got the shade Lush Dreams. Is that what it is? I'll open it up so you all can see the color. It looks kind of dark for what I think she'll like, but if it's a lip oil, maybe it'll be sheer. I don't know, hopefully she'll like it. If she doesn't, she can return it. And then for myself, I got a new Afterglow liquid blush in the color Brazen. So I had mentioned that I wasn't super sure about the cream blush from the Sephora haul. And I just, I really wanted a brighter color for summer and I just love this NARS formula so much. So the shade Brazen is kind of a bright coral. I really wanted a hot pink. I couldn't really find anything in this product, but this looks really pretty. Looks very bright and pink and corally. I think it'll be nice for summer. And this formula is just so, so good. If you all are in the need of a new blush, check this one out because the formula is the best. And then I got myself a Summer Fridays lip balm. I got the shade Pink Sugar. I just wanted a new lip balm and they had this one in stock. So I went ahead and grabbed that for myself. So that was my little Sephora haul. I think they will love these. I'm gonna pick up a couple more things for my mom. I'll show you the cards that I got. So this is the Mother's Day card that I got. I found this at World Market. How freaking cute is this? It's a little mom in bed reading. So I think this is perfect for my mom. And then for my sister, she loves pickleball. So I found this card, can't make it in a pickle. How cute is this? This is from a artist local to Dallas. You can buy her cards for sure at in Terrabang Books and I think St. Bernard's. She does watercolor greeting cards and she does them for every season. So this is from her summer season. And I think she's started to sell notepads and stuff like that. She does custom watercolor artwork, but she also does greeting cards and these are so cute. My sister's gonna love that. I can tell you all this by the way, because this video is gonna go up after I have been home, so it's fine. But this is the card I got my brother. So funny, he just loves golf and I thought this was good. I wish I didn't have any words inside because it says, warmest wishes to you for a magnificent 
present day and much happiness in the year to come. Happy birthday. Like, I would never say that to my brother, but he'll like the card. And then I just got him a gift card to Top Golf for enough where he can go with his friends. So I think he'll like that. My brother is the hardest person to buy for. And so I figured something like that, he'll actually use it, hopefully. So we'll see. And then I found some really, really cute gift bags at Target. How adorable. So this is going to be for my mom's since she has a little bit more. She Her birthday is also in a couple weeks, so I'm kind of combining both of her gifts. So I'm getting her a little bit more. So this is going to be for her. And just look at this little scallop trim. It's so cute. And then I found this one for my sister. Just a pretty painted flower. So those are the gifts. I'm very excited to give them to them. My poor dad's going to feel very left out. But I'm actually going home in June for a wedding. And it's the same weekend as Father's Day. So he'll be fine. He'll get his present when the time comes. I am gonna grab my suitcase and I think I might start packing my beauty bags first and then we can move on to clothes. Again, very short trip. I don't need to overpack, but what can you do? Okay, so here is my new makeup bag. It is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be and it might honestly be too big for this trip because I don't think I'm gonna need that much makeup, but we're just gonna pack it and see. And if not, we can just transfer it to a different bag, but this is my new one, so I really wanted to use it. When you open it up, here is where you put your brushes. I'm actually gonna wash my brushes tonight and then put them in just because they're dirty and I don't know, I don't wanna mess up my new makeup bag so soon after getting it, so. Brushes will go here, and then here is our main compartment. The reason I wanted this makeup bag was because it was just an open space. Normally, I use a makeup bag that has a lot of little compartments, and for some reason, I just wanted one that didn't have compartments where I could just see everything when I opened up my bag. It's from Tartan & Twine from Ulta, and so I think we'll just start layering it in. I'm gonna take my new Charlotte Tilbury highlighter palette. I think it'll be nice to use. I'm probably also going to take my natural eyes palette just for a little eyeshadow look. We are going to brunch after church on Sunday for Mother's Day. So I think it'll be fun to take some pictures, do a little eyeshadow look. I'm definitely gonna pack my Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray from Charlotte Tilbury. Love this stuff. It keeps my makeup on all day. It's so nice. I'm gonna pack my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I use this pretty much every time I do my makeup. For foundation, I'm either gonna pack my Laura Mercier or my Luminous Silk Foundation. And honestly, I think I'm gonna go for Laura Mercier because I've just been really enjoying this and it'll give me a chance to test it out a little more. I'm gonna bring my new NARS blush to test it out. So excited to try this color. Everything is fitting so nicely. I'm gonna pack my Charlotte Tilbury new bronzer. I have been using this almost every day. I love this. You can tell I've kind of messed up the little logo in the center, but really, really been loving this. Of course, gonna pack my Hourglass Concealer. This is the best concealer and I love it. Let's see, where should we put her? Maybe here. I'm gonna pack my little mini Charlotte Tilbury Cream Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Champagne. I just like to use this as a base when I'm doing an eyeshadow look. I'm gonna pack my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wand just for a little extra highlighter. I know I'm packing the palette, but just for a little cream one as well. Let me put that there. I'm gonna pack my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I don't use a lot of powder, but it's nice to have in case I need it. And this is definitely my favorite one because it's not too, too matte. It still keeps you very glowy. I'm gonna pack my Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick. This is a product that you use before you put foundation or concealer or anything underneath your eyes. It's almost kind of like a primer for your eyes and it just brightens up your under eyes, which I definitely need. I'm gonna pack my Charlotte Tilbury Rocking Coal this, it's so funny, this is called an iconic liquid eye pencil, but this is not a liquid. This is very much a pencil eyeliner. Maybe it's gel, but I think it's so funny this is called liquid. And then for eyebrows, I'm going to pack my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel because it's my favorite. And then for eyelashes, I'm definitely going to pack my primer because I can't do my mascara without it. And then with mascara, I think I'm going to pack my own Can't Stop Sharing Mascara. This is the one that I got from my mom. And then my CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Mascara. And then let me go grab a couple of lip products. And then for lips, I'm gonna take the Lana Lips Tinted Lip Balm, the Hourglass Phantom Glossy Balm in the color Reveal. Lana Lips color is Rhubarb. My Pillow Top Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the color Pillow Top Fair. My Buxom Lip Gloss in the color Pink Champagne and my YSL Rouge will left in number 44. That I think is all for our makeup and it fits pretty well. I, obviously it's gonna shift around in the flight because it's not perfectly full, but 
I like this and I think I like this makeup bag. It's big, it's gonna take up a lot of room, but here we are. <laughs> and then I will fill in all of my brushes tomorrow morning after they are washed and we will be all set on makeup. So let's go on to skincare. And then here's the bag that I'm gonna pack the rest of my beauty in. This is also new, also from Tartan and Twine from Ulta. I really like this so far. So it has this one side that has the mesh and then this other side. So this is the kind of bag that I like to pack my skincare in, but normally this other side doesn't have pockets like this. So these come out and they're just little extra containers that you can put in here if you want the space to be more organized. And then it also comes with a little brush holder, but obviously I will put my brushes in my makeup bag so I don't need that. And the best thing about this is it's a Velcro so you can take it in and out if you need it or not. I'm gonna start putting my skincare in here. First First up, we have the Caudalie Vino Clean Cleanser. I've been using this for about a week now and I'm really liking it so far. I'm gonna take my Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm to take my makeup off with. I'm gonna take my Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum, my Beauty Bio Swipe and Glow Peel Pads, my Saturday Skin Pretty Pop, moisturizer, my Beauty Bio Zen Bubble by Face Toner Serum, my Beauty Bio Eyeliner Concentrate, my La Roche Posay Eclair Duo. This is my favorite spot treatment. It's so sad because I love this stuff and it works so well for me, but my sister is allergic to it or something and she can't use it. And she's the one that actually got me on it because she tried it had an allergic reaction and then gave me hers and I love it. I'm going to take my L'Occitane Light Company Cream as my night moisturizer. I've almost used it all up, but I think it'll last me until I get back. I'm going to take my LMS Superfood Facial Oil. I have not tried this yet. I haven't gua sha since I got it, so I'm excited to try that. And then of course my little gua sha. And then I'll go ahead and put my Summer Fridays lip balm in here as well. And I think that's probably it for this side. For this side, I will do hair care and just other stuff. So I have my deodorant, my toothpaste. I have my day heat protective mist, my new Jizu honey infused leave-in conditioner. Really, really been liking this and it smells amazing. My way hair oil. This is a little travel size, which is nice. And then my contact case. So I'm not gonna pack shampoo and conditioner or contact solution because those are big bottles and I'll just use my sister's when I get home. So that is this side. And then I will just lay my toothbrush right here and we are all set. Okay, now time to pack my clothes. I have my suitcase. <laughs> right in front of me. I couldn't figure out how to get myself and the suitcase in the same shot, so I'm just gonna tell you or show you what I'm gonna pack for actual Mother's Day. I'm gonna pack two dresses because I can't decide what I wanna wear. So I'm gonna pack this dress. This is from ASOS, actually. One of my friends was having a closet sale and she was selling this, so I bought this from her. Love this. And then I have this Oh, they're really feeling the yellow apparently for this weekend. This one is from Bardo. I wore this in one of my Makeup Mayhem videos um, and I kind of remembered how much I loved it. So I'm gonna pack this as well, just so I can kind of feel out what I wanna wear. And then I'm gonna pack just a cute casual outfit. I'm gonna bring this skirt with a little button up. I, just in case we wanna go out to eat tomorrow night or s Saturday night. Part of the problem is that we don't have any plans made because my mom doesn't know I'm coming. So we're also gonna try to do something Saturday. By the time I get in tomorrow, I don't think we'll have time to really do anything, but we'll have Saturday and then Sunday night because I leave on Monday. So we had talked about maybe going hiking, going to play pickleball, going to the movies. So I'm just trying to pack options for all of those. So I'm going to pack this tennis dress in case we play pickleball. I'm going to pack two workout sets. I have this pink one with a sports bra and then the matching top. And then I'm going to pack this green one with matching leggings because my mom loves hot yoga. So she might want to go to a hot yoga class on Saturday. Don't know. I don't know anything, as you can tell. So I'm just packing a bunch of stuff, like I've already said. I'm then I'm gonna pack a couple of lounge outfits. So I have this pair of lounge pants that are wide leg, long length waffle lounge pants from Victoria's Secret. And then I'm gonna bring a tank top, a t-shirt. This is my Dolly t-shirt. How cute is she? And then I'm gonna bring a sweatshirt. This would be like movie going outfit. I like to dress comfy for the movies. I do not dress up for the movies. And then I'm gonna bring this skirt with a white top to match that is in the wash right now. So I think that should get me set 
for Saturday, Sunday, and then I leave on Monday. Obviously, I'm gonna pack pajamas and all that. I just haven't grabbed those yet. And then shoes. I just bought these new shoes, and I'll show you actually. How cute are these? I kind of want to wear these on Sunday, but I don't know how they're gonna look with the dress. So I might pack these, and then I have a pair of Sam Edelman rattan sandals. I think would be really cute with the floral dress. So I might pack those and these. And then I actually keep a pair of tennis shoes at home just so I don't have to pack one every time I go home because I know I'm going to be working out while I'm there. I'm going to wear a pair of like cute sneakers on the plane so I don't have to pack those. And then of course we have our makeup bag that we packed and then our skincare bag that we packed. Those are going in the suitcase. So I got to get the other essentials and pack those up and then we should be pretty ready to go. And then obviously the gifts. I'm gonna put these on the bottom below my clothes so they don't get squished. And then I have all of the stuff from Sephora and I have to grab her book and we should be all set. I might end up vlogging this weekend. I might try to take a video of me surprising her if I can, we'll see. So I might see you later, but if not, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a couple days with Makeup Mayhem, day eight. Bye. Oil. How are you? Hey, Mom. So I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs>